It's that time of year where we break out the holiday cards. Win here and welcome to my channel. We are exploring all things watercolor for the beginner artists. Follow along with me every week and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more holiday cards coming your way. Let's go! Okay, our supplies for today are these Masters Touch Fine Art Studio watercolor greeting cards. They are five by seven. This is what they look like. So you get a envelope here and it folds out. So these are five by seven on each side. So what you could do is paint directly on top of this surface, or if you want to insert a watercolor, you can just trace this on any watercolor paper that you have. So that's what I've done uh, on this Waterford Saunders Waterford watercolor paper. So this is a 12 by 16 block, and I was able to get five prints out of this. And so I just outline those. So you want to make sure that you're wetting your paints to just kind of open them up and make them ready for use. I'm going to be using a three quarter stroke brush by Princeton Art and Brush Company and it's flat at the tip but still has quite a bit of hair on it. So I'm going to dip it inside the water to get it all all the water as I can. Synthetic brushes tend to not carry as much water as natural hair, but just test it out on your surface. I'm using a Robert E. Wood palette, so it's a large palette. I can only show you part of it here. And if there's anything else on your brush, like mine has a little bit of green, you're going to want to really try to soak that up. And then have your paper towel handy so you can mop up any other colors that you have. Okay, so my brush is fully clean, and now I'm gonna go into my CAD Red, and you can see how saturating it is on my brush. I'm really trying to get it as much of that red on there as possible, and this is basically the richest form that I can get it in. So this is an olive oil, I call it olive oil consistency. And you just wanna test it out on there. You can see how rich that is. So get as much as you can on the brush. Okay, so this red cardinal is pretty long. So you want the head to be pretty much up here and then the tail will come all the way down to here. All right, so we're gonna start off with a simple line and you're just going to turn your brush to the side and you're just going to go straight down so this is the the face of it and then you're going to turn back in and slowly come down and now you're going to create that belly of the cardinal and then you're going to whip it back up to there and now I want you to turn your brush downward because now we're going to turn and get the tail down to a tip. Okay, so that is the first part to your cardinal. And then you want to come back into here and finish out the body and turn it out. So now you have the other part of the tail. And since the tail has more to it, I would add just a little bit more of that tail to it and bring it down. Okay, so now you have the overall shape to it. If you wanted to add a little more substance to the head, you could and bring that right into there. Okay, so that is the cardinal shape. Don't touch it. I would dry it off, so I'm going to use the hair dryer. Okay, so at this point, you would clean off your CAD red off of your brush completely. But the thing that you want to keep in mind and really focus in on is not overworking it. So I haven't touched it since I did those two brush or two or three brush strokes. Okay, now we're going to grab some sap green, get it into the olive oil consistency. And I want to create some leaves. So I want to create some. Oh, <laughs> you can see that I have too much water on my brush, and I literally just uh, made some 
Mark's made a drop right in there. So I can fix that by going right over that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the side of my brush and I'm gonna create a leaf. And I still have a lot of water on my brush. So if you find that you have too much, just use your towel and dab it a little bit and you can even soak up some of that. See how I can soak up and you put it right back on your, okay. So you can still create that design with your flat brush. You're just gonna come out and kind of come to a point right in there. Okay, so that's one of my first leaves. And let's do another one coming out here. And I'm gonna come out and then kind of connect it. So I'm gonna create a branch that this cardinal is on. So let's create uh, one that's pretty large right here. And then let's make one that's kind of going off of the page and it's a little bit skinnier going right down towards the center there. Okay. And let's use the hairdryer once more. And now let's use some burnt umber and a little bit of Payne's gray. And we're going to create this dark branch that this cardinal is on. So we're going to start up at the top left and work our way down. So we're just going to go down here and then go right across here. Grab some more and we're going to come right out over this way. That'll be a nice branch. And now you can add a little bit more of the character to the branch, little stems to the branch. Just like that. Okay, so now it's feels like it's perched on a branch. And now you can add a little more detail to the design. You can add a little bit more of that green over the top to create some of these leaf patterns and just lightly go over the top and that'll create a little more interest. You just follow the center line and you just kind of round it and you just add a few lines to there and that'll add some interest. You can make this as detailed as you want. It's really up to you if you wanted to but since we're just keeping it simple, this is a nice start. And now let's add a few berries to it. And I always like opera rose mixed with a little bit of cad red. And we can create some of these holly berries. And when you're doing things like this, you always want to do them in threes. Creates a more aesthetically pleasing look. Do one small one back over here. Okay, so let's do them in threes or odd numbers. So let's just add one right over here. So we have one by itself and three over here. So that, so you could put a, a thank you or happy holidays right in here. And, and you could add even more details to the Cardinal if you'd like, but just keeping it simple like this is always fun and uh, create some interest. So I hope this helped you today and to create one of your first Christmas cards that are going out with this simple design.